Well, one day looking at the paper, and I read the paper every day. It's a local paper, Metro West, and saw that they were having a program with Owen College. And I said, gee, that sounds interesting. Getting to know what, first of all, in my mind, what today's youth is like. It became a lot more than that. Engineering for Humanity is a class at Olin College in which we partner students who are from Olin, Babson, and Wellesley Colleges to work with community partners in the local area who are older adults living independently in their own homes. And the students get to know people and then they design and build something to help people feel more independent, feel happier, whatever the challenges are or, and opportunities are that students identify in partnership with the people they're working with. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to work with Bob because he seemed like a really, really positive attitude person and I'm, I'm not that way. Uh, and Bob is just like so positive all the time. He's one of those people you talk to and your day gets better and like he makes you feel like you need to be a better person. <laughs> so we first identified a bunch of opportunity areas that um, we thought might fit Bob's needs. So maybe like a walker basket to carry. He had a hard time carrying things around with and using his walker at the same time. We all just felt that the stairs was the were the biggest issues that Bob was facing. Um, Getting up the stairs was always hard. But when I got the double vision, it's almost like I give up. Okay, it's gone. <laughs> yeah. I can't say nothing wrong with him. He's out during the day again. But... I know. Are you okay? So we did a lot of testing with Bob on the like the shape of the stair railing and the, the size of the like the diameter of the stair railing to see what was most comfortable for him. And then um, with his wife, we did a, a little bit of aesthetics testing, you know, like what stains do you like? What colors would you like in this room? Um, how do you want it to look? Because that's important too. But I know when we finally leaned into this, you guys were measuring and measuring and adjusting and I was just awed at you guys. And kind of, you know, you ask me a lot of questions. Huh? How does this feel? Should we love this? Should we raise this? Yeah, and I'm participating all the time, but I feel like uh, you guys were in charge and I was there to help. Um, and then what ended up happening was the contractors came with all the materials and their time all for free, which was amazing um and um, we ended up just um meeting them there and they took two days and installed the stair railing and then we got to watch bob walk up the stairs <laughs> maiden voyage ready yeah piece of cake piece of cake no string at all Get up, okay with you know, the crutch and the railing, but uh, this is this is so easy. I'm using very little. Oh, my arms and, oh, this is good. Look at this hat. From down there, I said, oh, it went further because they asked me how far you want to go. And I, that's the point. Look at this. Now, huh? And just a transition. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> What did I say? Oh, this is cool. This is totally awesome. I just felt like, I mean, each step was like, I can't believe this. Not knowing it was on video and I still, my vocabulary was acceptable, I believe. That, that was, that was big day to do that. And this railing is, I can get up the stairs and I can get down the stairs. Whether it's with my sneakers on or just my slippers, I can do it safely without worrying about, oh man, get in front of me because I'm going to fall. Coming down especially. And as you heard me say, 
piece of cake, piece of cake. <laughs> That's what it became, thanks to you people and the fellows who uh, came here two days in a, in a row, worked all day long to get that just right. Like reflecting on it, it was good to learn that it was not that hard of an issue to fix, but no one was doing it. I think other students, not even just engineering students, but especially engineering students, have an obligation to um, do things that it can impact the world in a better way. And I think a lot of us are working towards that goal. Um, but the elder community um, has been just discriminated against and just they have a lot of problems that no one is trying to fix. And especially in the engineering context, so many of those problems are not that hard to fix with just like a little design and a little engineering. And I think students can get a lot out of the experience in general. And I think that um, elder adults, that older adults really, really want to like interact with young people. Um, so it's a validating experience for both people. And I just hope other uh, uh, people like myself appreciate even half as much as I have how the project went. Because uh, to me, it was very, very big. Social life was zero, so it made it, made it even a <laughs> big I would recommend it to anybody. And if I could fake being someone else, I'd, I'd do the whole thing over again.